I'm Joey. I'm Samantha. And we, we are, are getting, getting married. married. <laughs> <laughs> we met during COVID, which was wild. We were working on a film. It was a movie that my brother yeah. actually uh, uh, wrote and he directed and it was for Lifetime. And uh, and he asked me to do him a favor and if I would play the, the, you know, the lead, but like the bad guy. And I said, sure, that would be fun. And uh, But it was during COVID and we were trying to figure it all out. And at the last minute, we had to recast in like four days. And, yeah. and I was like, no, this is, this, this is not happening. So, you know, because there was like, I mean, there was like makeout scenes, and I, this is no way. And <laughs> no you know, back way. then in the early days, nobody yeah. knew what was going on. Yeah. She had just wrapped something else, and there was. They mm -hmm. said, "Look, we we were really lucky to get her. She's amazing. She's great." You know, the cast director said she's incredible, and I was like, "Who is she, bro? I got like three days. I don't know who this person is. This is not happening." So, so funny. Long story short, I said, "All right, but we have to cut all the makeout scenes. I, you know, we have to keep the distance." Not touching her. Right. I was just such yeah. a. I was being I was being a goofball because I was just grump. everybody was yeah. I was being grumpy yeah so come on to set the first day and our first scene was laying in bed next to each other as like husband and wife oh my goodness and I was like he walks in like hi <laughs> I was like I don't, like, know, I don't know why that, you're man. so grumpy yeah. and why I find you so adorable <laughs> like who is this grumpy mm. man I was very reserved because yeah. I was you know I don't know I was. I guess I was scared yeah, was a little a lot bit. You know, there was a lot yeah. going on. I was like, oh man. And then his brother Andy was like, lay down, Joe. We're like a start normal the human scene. being, you know? So like, this <laughs> guy's like, lays like this. And yeah. I'm looking over and I'm like, is that how he sleeps? Yeah. Like, like I don't want to give him acting advice. He's like, clearly been doing this for a long time. But yeah. I'm looking, I'm like, who is this She's like, are guy? you going to sleep like you're in a coffin for the whole scene? Yeah. She said that. Yeah. Like, that was the third thing out of her mouth. I'm like, are you making jokes? Yeah. Anyway, that's how it began. So mm -hmm. she started uh, busting my chops, uh, and um, and it was really something special, you know. And um, I don't know, we just you know what's yeah. crazy is at this point in life, after you, you know I've certainly been through my fair share of stuff, <laughs> and Sam has too. But um, you know when 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 you meet the right person, there really isn't you don't have to work at that. There is not that you know. Look, mm -hmm. with life you always have to work through things, but you don't have to work at like the communicating. That actually, when you're with the right person, you actually communicate very similarly and you talk the same way. We didn't have to work at that. We literally, humor is the way mm -hmm. that we communicate. Uh, I grew up that way, it started yeah. with my grandfather and her grandparents. I had heard his name, but for some reason I missed every show Nothing. and thing he had ever done. Yeah. And we're Stop. sitting on set much, actually. But, you know. And he said something about like, well, I was on the show called Blossom and I was like, and I'm looking at him with the puzzled face. He's like, did you ever see that? I'm like, no, I think I heard of it. And the sound guy from across the room. He got offended. Came over and was like, sir, I'm so sorry. You you don't know Blo And I'm sitting there like, I'm dying. The guy, really. I'm He's like, like, you don't know what this guy has done? He's had major hit TV shows he was like over so, decades. Like, Mm -hmm. Couldn't believe it, and we joke about it all the time. But I feel almost like God protected me from knowing who yeah. he was my whole life. So I was never in a situation to like, like, make him something other than what he is and who he is. That and really it was really true. great to meet him and know nothing about him, mm -hmm. and get to know him as a person. And when you meet the right person, like for some reason, we started talking, and that was just. There was this yeah. weird bubble that was created and it was okay. You know, it was okay to like vent and talk about things and be vulnerable. Yeah. And, and and that never would have happened, you know, if it hadn't been the situation in which we met. We were like four days in and I called my sister. I'm like, I think this guy is flirting with me and I really like it. Like, who is this guy? I, I, just, I, and funny thing is I wasn't even, it we was an just energy so much thing. Laughter. Yeah, like we it was laughing. an unspoken, like just it, I saw him and I'm like, that's, I'm gonna marry him. Like I just, he feels like my soulmate. We were just like, we should do this, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and it just feels right. And um, I don't want to let any more time go by, really, because, you know, time is so precious. And you do realize that the older you get, too, you know, how precious it is. You're not guaranteed, like, you know, who, who knows? You know, every day you got to wake yeah. up and enjoy the present. It was just one of those things. Yeah. I, I, I think that we were just like, 
we got to do this, right? And I, w- I want to do this. And she's like, I was I having do a ring designed. Like I knew at and, some point and, and I knew he was doing and the same. I was doing the same thing. And, and we didn't know that, which is so crazy. Yeah. And then there, I don't remember where we were, but there was just a moment in a conversation like, well, I have a ring for you. And I was like, and you have a ring for me. And it was like, wait, I, and you like, have a ring? I, I said, you have a ring for me? And she's like, like, yeah. Yeah, of I course. Do. It was like, okay. I don't know when I'll need it, but right. I, I like, have it. And and that was. Yeah, it was just then, kind of this organic, like, let's mm-hmm. just do this. Yeah, so yeah. we went to the beach, like, mm-hmm. very, very. Uh, or early in the morning, mm-hmm. this little private spot that we had found, and we took a little blanket out there and a basket, and um, it, you know we couldn't, it wasn't, we couldn't gather with a bunch of people. There was no way to do that, so um, we just sat there and mm-hmm. we talked about how we felt about each other, mm-hmm. and uh, and then said, uh, you know, and then all yeah. the cheesy stuff. So originally we were going to get married on a cliffside, Mm -hmm. um, just the two of us and like a pastor. And then it kind of took on a whole life of its own and it's turned into this beautiful little intimate intimate gathering of just our our family and our very, very closest friends. Yeah. We decided there wasn't enough space for 60 people to dance on the side of a cliff. But we kind of had that idea, like a cliffside, Mm -hmm. nothing, when we even picked out Yep. Like my dress and his suit, and right. we are still, We're still using those stuff. same ones. Yeah. Like nothing yeah. has changed nope. in terms of like the fuss. Lots of white, you know, and um, mm-hmm. rose gold, and um, we found the perfect farm tables. We found venue, a great venue, yeah. amazing venue, Temecula Creek Inn in Temecula, which is this really beautiful like vineyard kind of hotel. It's like unbelievable, it really is. So last June, I lost my grandpa, which was arguably like one of the hardest things ever. And it was really wild to, we toured a couple properties in different venues and the second we got to Temecula Creek, you walk across this big like grassy area with these trees and it's like shaded and you don't hear anything other than like birds chirping. Water, and like a little it, stream. Yeah, it literally felt like I was in my grandparents' backyard. Like my childhood, I'm like this is, you can feel. It's amazing. The love and the peace and the quiet and they have this just, property the stone house yeah the stone house where we're getting which married is, we're, it's part yeah. of our like it's part of the wedding area they've refurbished it's it inside beautiful keep, it is unbelievable yeah it's all stone like the, the old wooden fireplaces on both sides it's has these yeah. mantles of this rustic wood that's just and it's from you know it's 200 and something years old i mean it's it's incredible It is like a, a little tank top, cream, tulle, pretty much tulle everywhere. It's got like a princess bottom, but it's a very like easy, romantic cream top with white flowers on it. So it's got the cream and the white, which I thought would be really cute if Joey did cream and white. And it just has this nice little, almost like a little cupcake princess vibe on the lower half and the back comes down all the way like down to my lower back. So it shows just enough skin and also covers just enough, so I really, really love it. The second I put it on, it just felt like the colors were so perfect and it felt like so simple, but like classically romantic. Like just, I feel like 100% myself in it. I could wear it for days and be totally comfortable, but I also feel like I'm dressed up enough to be like doing this important, amazing thing. Overview is there's people at like the lodges, you know, these little yeah. sort of like lodge areas where like the rooms are and separate little lodges. And then everyone will be sort of golf carted down, like shuttled mm-hmm. down to the venue area. And then uh, we're gonna have like a string trio there that, that's gonna be playing, you know, for like an hour before the for the ceremony. So I it's gonna be us up the, there. So that'll be kind of cool. Which will be great. Again, like just do it the way that feels right to you, yeah. you know? I mean, 
my bros know that they are my best men. They'll be sitting in the front, but they're not going to stand up there. It's yeah. just not that kind of it. It's much more casual and intimate than that. You know, it's mm -hmm. not so formal at all. It's we like, wrote be... like vows, yes, but they're being incorporated into the ceremony, so we're not actually saying them. But they'll right. be there are words. Yeah, yeah. My uh, my uncle Jimmy is a pastor. So he's gonna he's gonna marry us. So we had to. Yeah. We wrote up everything that we want to say, and he's gonna work it in. I guess you know, beautifully into kind yeah. of what he's going to do. You know, we had always said that sort of the genesis and the nucleus of what we wanted that original wedding to be on the cliff was just was just casual, right? And, and no fuss, no frills, um, super romantic and, 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 and just casual. So we had we had said that maybe we would just wear Converse because we both love Converse and we love sneakers in general. And we did not change that. We brought that to the more traditional setting that we are mm -hmm. now. And we thought, wouldn't it be cool if we can get everybody to wear Converse? We started to ask our family and friends and they were like, yeah, either they had them or they're like, I have them, but I'm going to get a new pair. And so all of our guests, uh, everybody that is coming to the wedding is going to be wearing Converse. Yeah. After the vows, um, we have a little cocktail hour. Mm -hmm. And then we have the most incredible florist who's also <sighs> planning our entire wedding. Her name is Heather Manley from HCD. She designs is, and she's put wow. together these amazing beautiful we're doing like all whites and creams for flowers just mm. everything really like romantic and classically beautiful and it's like, all tones of white so yeah. cream on white on off it's very yeah. romantic outside dance floor big wooden dance floor and all those big picnic lights they're putting above them you welcome the new samantha and joey lawrence yep. so this little cutie <laughs> wrote a song for me very early on mm -hmm. and what we was would we? always we would always talk talk like when we were yeah. first when, 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 when we didn't see each other we would always end up finding a time to talk and it was like 6 p.m. every like time. every day it was just like so I remember I texted him one day I'm like I wish it was 6 p.m. and he's like what I'm like that's just always and like my favorite time of day because that's when I get to finally catch up with you yes. for the day and I looked at my call and we had literally spoken at 601 602 559 yeah. 6 o'clock it had been like two weeks, three weeks of that. It was crazy. Yeah. So I don't know. You get inspired, and uh, and and I just I wrote a song called 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. So um, you know I yeah. wrote on the piano and about then, it being like the best part of the day. And yeah. he incorporated so many like funny little inside jokes that we had been texting about and talking about and yeah. just laughing about. And I'm, it's just the most beautiful thing. One of my amazing producing partners, Toro. Um, he put together this arrangement for me with uh, the strings and the cellos and all the violins and I mean the orchestral, it, it's, it's he, pretty. he yeah. killed it for me. Yeah. And so we went in and I was able to record it and um, yeah, and then yeah. we're going to dance to that. I got a six I mean, yeah. the food is tremendous. Mm -hmm. There's this, they have a resident chef there, Chef Matthew, Math, Matthew mm -hmm. and it's all farm to, farm to table. And this, this, this guy's recipes are just unbelievable. We have like a filet choice yep. and, and a mahi mahi, mahi, mahi and, and then like a roasted uh, chicken. chicken. And then and there's a vegan option too, but you know. All the yummy like roasted Brussels sprouts mm -hmm. and garlic covered asparagus yep. and potato puree and like this potato just puree is unbelievable good it's like you know half my family's coming from idaho and they're like meat and potatoes so i'm mm -hmm. like i promise you guys are going to be so satisfied at mm -hmm. the same time as like our la oh. friends We have a cake because I love have cake. A cake. I love cake. Yeah. So we're doing a two tier cake. On the bottom, it's like a textured kind of with like a fondant on the outside with all these different like rough edges. And then the top will be all very smooth. sleek and smooth and just create like a real contrast between the two. So it's like romantic, but also very like modern and, you know. It's really cool. The bottom really... almost looks like rocks, you know, like yeah. rock formations on the side of a mountain. Yeah. And But the top is completely smooth. And then uh, we're also having uh, like donut holes and a s'more bar that Temecula Creek actually was like, have you guys ever done a s'more bar? Because we right. offer that here. I'm like, why would anyone get married without a s'more bar? Yeah, I That's mean, amazing. yeah. The honeymoon 
will be slightly later because right after the wedding, believe it or not, we wrote a, um, which is so crazy, another thing, in in the pandemic, in the lockdown, we wrote a script together. Um, my first time writing, his first time, first time writing, writing, like it just happened we, so easily. Yeah, just, but we love yeah. romantic comedy. So we decided like, let's write a script um, kind of like that pays homage to those great like rom-coms that we grew up with and it's it, it's called Frankie Meets Jack. So, so right after that we'll take a honeymoon. So after that we're going to Which take I feel like will feel even better. Like yeah. so deserved like we're so get excited. married, be very excited for honeymoon but then take a little pause, work Work our really butts hard. off for yep. a couple months and yep. finish this film and then relax. Yep. It's, it's crazy that, that, that to be able to do everything you know with someone and we literally do everything together and then to be able to work with somebody and to be able to create something like that and it not like fall apart you know like but actually makes you stronger it, it's really rare. I'm so much more excited about the marriage than the wedding and I'm yeah. really excited about the wedding but mm -hmm. I can't wait to just have that great night and then just get to our everyday because that's where that. that's where so we fell times, like, in uh. love. Mm -hmm.